Thank you, President, Commissioner and colleagues. Just as the United States, Europe has seen its share of terrorism and we continue to fight it to this day. However, similar to how we seek to defend our open societies against attacks from the outside, we must defend them against erosion from within. Security and freedom are no zero-sum game. The America we value as a partner, as an ally, betrays its constitution by compromising basic principles such as the presumption of innocence and human rights in general. Human rights also apply to suspects of those convicted or those convicted of even the worst crimes. It is those values that distinguish open societies from closed ones. The National Defense Authorization Act marks a low point in American history. Indefinite detention without trial? If it would happen in, say, Egypt, the U.S. would rightfully so be the first to criticize. I'm also very alarmed by the fact that the Chief Defense Counsel advised lawyers not to use computers for confidential contact with their clients. Surveillance and disappearing files, as well as eavesdropping, violate fundamental rights. We call on the U.S. Congress to help President Obama close Guantanamo Bay prison. Democracies and Democrats must hold themselves and each other to the highest standards. And in the words of Norwegian Prime Minister Stoltenberg, who spoke after the Utoya attacks, violence must be met with more democracy. Gracias.